Hold up. Good afternoon, D.C. I'm Monica, and here's your news for Monday, March 11th. On Saturday morning, DCHS hosted the Green River Region Welding Contest and Tractor Driving Competition. Jonathan Berry won the Regional Tractor Driving Competition, and he will be representing DCHS FFA at state competition later this year. The following FFA members will also came in first place in the welding competition and will represent DCHS at the state welding competition. Blake Cunningham, Hayden Browning, Landon Fogel, and Wyatt Turner. Congratulations to all. The DCHS speech team competed this weekend at the Kentucky High School Speech League State Tournament at Northern Kentucky University. DC comp competed against over 50 schools and over 600 students from across our Commonwealth. As a team, DCC finished in the top 20. Individually, Owen Frakes advanced to semifinals and finished 12th in humorous interpretation. Rayleigh Brubaker and Kate Mills advanced to finals in the improvisational duo and finished 6th in the state. Other top 20 finishers were Nathan Goins, 19th in dramatic interpretation and duo interpretation team Rayleigh Brubaker and Lauren Clark with a 14th place finish. DC had four entries finish in the top 24 in the state. The state team members were Rayleigh Brubaker, Lauren Clark, Owen Frakes, Nathan Goins, Lila Beth, Goodman, Emma Hardesty, Katie Kenny, Kate Mills, and Ellie Rue. Congratulations to, on a fantastic season. And congratulations to the D.C. dance team for finishing second in hip-hop and 13th in game day competition at Nationals in Orlando this weekend. There will be a parent scheduling meeting tonight at, starting at 5.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Now a word about how you can support the Pulsera Project. The Pulsera Project is a fair trade nonprofit organization that works with artisans in Central America and provides a market for their handmade bracelets or Pulseras in schools across the U.S. Each Pulsera costs only $5 and comes tagged with the photo and signature of the artisan who made it. Money raised from your school's Pulsera sale will sustain employment for hundreds of artisans and will also fund programs like housing, healthcare, scholarships, social enterprises, and other empowerment programs that benefit the artisans and communities throughout Central America. Thank you so much for your support and have an amazing time coloring the world with the Pulsera Project in your school. For more information, see Ms. Venegas. There will be a parent meeting for any boy who is interested in playing on the DCHS boys golf team in the Media Center on March 27th at 5 p.m. All juniors will be taking the ACT on Tuesday, March 12th or Wednesday, March 13th. Be sure to check your email for a message from Ms. Newcomb about your ACT. In the email, it will tell you which day you will be testing and your seat number. For more information, see Ms. Newcomb. The DCHS Key Club is now collecting donations for care packages for local firefighters. Items needed include individually wrapped snacks like granola bars, individual bags of chips or cookies, men's hygiene items such as toothbrushes, flossers, men's body wash, men's shampoo, and men's deodorant. All donations can be dropped off to Miss Tanner in room 191 na between now and March 15th. The Wendell H. Ford Statesmanship Academy is a free, nonpartisan leadership program focused on identifying, educating, and engaging high school students in servant leadership in order to make a positive impact on their community. Applications for freshmen are now open and will be open through March 15th. See the flyer in the daily email for more information. Or do not hesitate to reach out to Mr. Neil Hayden if you have any questions. Your books are now on sale. See the daily email for link and code to order. Cinderella's Closet Prom Assistant Referrals are now available in Miss Nicodemus' office. Stop by room 154 if you would like to sign up and or need more information. Attention rising juniors and seniors, if you're thinking about taking dual credit classes next year, now is the time to begin the registration process. Be sure to check out the daily email for all details or stop by and see Mr. Jerome in the CCR Center for more information. If you're interested in OCTC's GoFame program, see the daily email for more information on when meetings will be held. You can also see Mr. Jerome in the CCR Center for more information. Here's what's going on this afternoon at DC. There is a parent scheduling meeting taking place starting in the auditorium at 6 p.m. As always, stay classy and stay safe, DC.